Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel with me, your one and only Princess Tacha Jupiter. For this video, we're going to find out what are people secretly saying about you. In front of you, there are three images. I'm gonna do pick a card reading and also long distance viewing based on the image or the vibration of the image that you picked today. Using your intuition, please pick the first image that comes into your mind. I highly recommend you to pick more than one group for your own additional messages. Alright guys, I'll see you on your reading. Hello group number one. If you're picking this image, then welcome to your reading with me, Princess Tacha Jupiter. What are people secretly saying about you? Um, I'm gonna dig deeper to your energy based on the image that you picked today. So the vibration of group number one. But before that, let's find out your cards first for today. Alright. Let me see here. It's going to be interesting reading. Um, I just want you guys to be open-minded uh, for the outcome of this reading, all right? What are people secretly saying about you? Please tap me to group number one, energy, because we're just going to find out and have fun with it. It doesn't necessarily defining who you are as a person, all right? Just please take this reading as it resonates. You have here rough road and also take precautions. Um, I feel that people secretly saying about you that you are a beginner, you are a beginner in something. There's something new that you just learned or maybe you just move out of town, you just apply to new job, there's something new that you learn, you discover something new about yourself or, or the things that you want to do. There's something new. There's something new in your life that you're not that familiar with um, and people secretly saying that you are not um, you're not recognizing the fact that there's a lot to learn, all right? And you're just being very careful with your decision, with the way you say about that things because you don't know that things, you know, or you don't have um, that much of a knowledge about it or it's still something new to you. Um, so that's also what people are saying, secretly saying about you. Please remember that this is just what people secretly saying. They might not say this in front of you. That's why it's called secret, but we just want to know. And you know, if you want private reading just for your group number one, please click the link in the description box below to book me for your private reading. All right, it's really helpful for me if you would like to book me for your private reading. Um, I feel that, you know, some people might also secretly saying that you got a rough road. It means that you are facing challenges, obstacles, or the things that truly gonna shape your character. Um, you are someone um, that is very well prepared. Um, you're very cautious. That's why it's also say take precautions. So people secretly saying that you're having that cautious attitude or being very careful with how you interact with people or how you say things just because it's so something new or you truly feel that it's foreign to you. You don't know much about something. There's the element of something new or the element that you don't know that much about something you know what i mean or people talk about something that you don't want to take part in it because you don't you don't want to gossip around or you don't want to make your hand dirty or you don't want to put yourself in trouble that's also possible because some people you know they could be very sensitive uh, when you get involved in their drama but they're the one that caused drama all right what are people secretly saying about group number one You have here a real promise. Release the chains of the past. The rhythm of possibility. And free to move. People are secretly saying that you are wild and free. And you got that, you know, uh, freedom thinker. The way you think is very modern. Um, some of you love liberating yourself from the limiting belief. I feel that there's this also energy about you being the wildest in the room. Or, you know, very outgoing. Um, another thing that I feel also 
is that people secretly saying that you're a real deal you're someone with a real value you're someone that uh, you know um very full of integrity when you promise something to someone you always fulfill it all right so that's how i feel about you now let's see other cards that you have here that we just want to find out a little bit before i um see your vibration what are people secretly saying about you group number one what are people secretly saying about you group number one please i look at my phone every day hoping i would see a message from you People secretly saying, secretly saying that you got a secret admirer or your uh, crush or your secret admirer or your ex-partner or your current partner just adore you. Um, someone also probably love texting with you. They love watching your social media. Um, they love giving interaction or just watching you, hoping that you will contact them, hoping that you will reach out. There's someone here that hoping they will you will reach out to this person. Maybe this is someone that um, are not available anymore due to their status or due to your status, they're just so afraid to approach you, but they kind of hope that you approach them or rekindle the feelings, that's, that's for sure. All right, someone like adore you romantically here, group number one. I have abandonment issue. I grew up in a single parent household. I had a rough childhood. People secretly saying that some of you might grew up in like single parent household. Maybe you just posted about your uh, mom or dad only, but never bored of them. If that's possible, some of you might not have um a dad or a mom grew up um you're pretty independent yourself and someone that truly um a go-getter um secret people secretly saying that you might have a daddy issue or mommy issue um for some of you um you know in the beginning we're not gonna take this too seriously this is just what people secretly saying about you but yeah they kind of probably got a feeling that for some reason you grew up in a single parent household if it, this doesn't resonate with you um you know you probably a single parent yourself that's possible or your parent uh, separated or divorced and married again and got a new partner that's also possible if not then you know just take what resonates from this reading but yeah that's what people could be saying about you but they truly sense that you are very independent it seems like you know what you want all right in life and let's see the vibration of this group um, if you're picking this group, people secretly saying that there are many more things for you to discover. You know, there's this new world about to open for you. They see that you have this new perspective and someone that is very, um, you know, put you you you're like you're like clean up really well um you got your ducks in a row you're very organized yourself you're very independent and you're very ambitious so that's what people are secretly saying about you or they sense that you're such an ambitious person people are also secretly saying that you're someone with a graceful energy so that's the energy that people feel around you and i kind of feel also from this group that you're very graceful you forgive people you forgive the situations and you forgiving yourself and others that truly heal your wounds, all right? Your wounds in the past, your childhood trauma, or the things that truly upset you in the past, not upset, not upsetting you anymore, or slowly you got that peace, uh, slowly you uh, pampering yourself again, slowly you treated yourself better than before and prioritizing yourself. And that's actually the secret for you to move on from this abandonment issue. That's possible, all right? That's possible, group number uh one now let me see here all right let me just move this card a little bit here please tap me to the energy of group number one Please tap me to the energy of group number one, please. What are people secretly saying about you, group number one? What are people secretly saying about you, group number one? You have pickup, all right? 
you have peacock. People secretly saying that you are someone um, with um, with a great taste. You have this sophisticated style. You have sophisticated taste or expensive taste. You look very elegant. You look very expensive. Some of you might collecting um, nice clothes, branded clothes, uh, branded purse branded shoes or accessories. People love your accessories. Peacock also very beautiful and handsome when they show off uh, what they have. And people secretly saying uh, with this card that, you know, you look really good. You look really good. You smell so good. Um, you are a very dedicated person. Someone that people might guess that you are an old money or look like an old money. Um, when you're probably in new money or you just know how to dress really well. You know how to carry yourself really well. People secretly saying that they're so curious about you, curious about your background, your family, what you do for a living or how you truly get up yourself, you know, put yourself up there, leveling up, your secret of leveling up, your glow up secret, all right? Because people secretly saying that they truly love what they see in you, you know? You seems like a very well-educated or well-mannered person, someone that really know how to behave really well. You really know good manners. You're very polite. You're very uh, respectful of elderly and the people around you. It seems like you're also no lady you know even though something this is a rough road you know how to carry yourself really well so that people cannot see or cannot pinpoint right away um, your beginner level because you know how to fake it till make it or you really know how to present yourself really well to the point that people trust you easily or people see that you are more important than you actually are or you are someone that truly got that VIP vibes even though probably you're not or some of you truly got VIP vibes due to your own effort. People truly feel that and they secretly saying that you are a self-made person. They got that sense, especially with the image that you pick. That's so self-made person. But let's see here more so about Peacock and the story of this Peacock. All right. This is going to be very interesting. I'm trying to uh, find out here first just to you know get the perfect picture the perfect um image about you people secretly saying that you are very compassionate with peacock um you're also someone that is beautiful and handsome inside and out they truly feel that you're a beautiful person very kind very generous you just get that you know beauty they sense that and they feel that all right the beauty of the peacock is unrivaled all right it's easy to think it comes from the plumage but the secret of the peacock is that the beauty resides within and extends outward indefinitely. It's so hard to compete with you. You have a good taste, all right? If you're like, uh, you're very fashionable, um, it's almost like you're just like a Coco Chanel, all right? You're just like Coco Chanel. And you're someone that is confident yet very kind and someone that truly know how to digest how to read the room really well really good politically or diplomatically you're really good you're really good with networking with people or working in public uh, setting all right let's see your cards here please tap me to the energy of all oh, right five of air Please tap me to the energy of group number one. What are people secretly saying about group number one, please? All right. You have here five of air, seven of water, nine of air, page of fire, king of air, and the six of fire. I feel that people secretly saying that you are such um, a witty person, someone that is very intelligent or extremely intelligent. Some of you might receive scholarship or a fund. 
you know, got a help from someone. Um, you're very brilliant. You know how to really, um, you know, steer uh, the pot really well. <laughs> All right, five of air is the card about playing the chess, playing your card really well, very intelligent. Yes, you made mistake in the past, but you learn from it, all right? People truly secretly saying that you are someone with a great strategy. Now, another thing is you got also the king of air and the nine of air. People secretly saying that you just try to look good even though you cannot handle it or it's too much for you, you're overwhelmed or overworked with this rough road, all right? And also nine of air, there's this sleeplessness, maybe you lack of sleep, you know, take this as a sign for you to start having a good sleep, start, uh, you know, um, take a break and rest for yourself. But people secretly saying that you probably got sleepless night. Um, and also people are secretly saying that you're very knowledgeable, you know, you are, you're someone that people put on pedestal, especially the first time they met you. Um, you're very sharp mind. You have a sharp mind. Now with the page of fire and also the six of fire, I feel that people secretly saying that, um, you know, you want to be recognized for the things that you do and it seems that you will get it or you already got it or you're in the process of getting it. Um, you're very confident with your effort and someone that will be very successful in this lifetime or you look very successful. You're also someone that is so motivated, um, you know, um, you are a go-getter, group number one. People feel that, people see that in you. They're secretly saying that you're very creative and very enthusiastic. Maybe your approach is a little bit aggressive at times because you really want to have that. I'm not sure why, but that's what people are secretly saying about you. Now with the seven of water, you're one of the rare people that truly got a lot of choices. You could offer analyze something sometimes um, and procrastinate, you know, cause you got a lot on your plate. And that's what people are secretly saying about you, but that's what probably caused that sleeplessness or something like that, you know? Wow, all right. Please tap me to the energy of group number one. What are people secretly saying about you, group number one? You got damsel. With damsel here, people secretly saying that you are someone um, that truly inspire people with your personality. Um, you're very romantic at heart. Um, you also look like someone that really know how to use your appearance to get what you want, to look really presentable, um, you know, to make other people choose you, choose your side, um, you know, and adore you or afraid to walk all over you because of your own appearance. People like, you know, think twice before they, um, you know, they BS you around. But also people secretly saying that some of you might use your beauty um, to level up. All right, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone can do it as long as you're not stepping on other people's toes or other people's rights. Messiah. People secretly saying that you are someone that really care about social justice, social cause. You're probably really active. Um, be a volunteer about human rights or donating to some sort of social cause or spiritual cause that you believe in. Um, and, you know, People also secretly saying sometimes they just cannot um, help, but you know, thinking that you are just have strong belief, you have strong belief system. Um, sometimes people secretly think that you are exaggerating your belief, that you are the only uh, one or think that you are the only one that right or your point of view is right. A little bit stubborn, all right? So that's what people secretly saying about you. You have here mother, people secretly saying that you have special connection with your mother or you are a mother yourself. You're very nurturing um, or very creative yourself. You're someone that really know how to nurture your desire, how to nurture um, your life really well and other people. People also secretly saying that sometimes you could be a little bit controlling um, because you just want to control the outcome. Maybe you're also controlling the way you look, the way other people think of you. You really care about that as well, all right? 
Please tap me to the energy of group number one. Please tap me to the energy of group number one. What are people secretly saying about you? You have mediator. People secretly saying that you can sense um, attachment issue. Um, you are really smart psychologically, you know, you're very strategic, yet you know how to protect yourself, protect your interests at all costs. People also secretly saying that you are a really good mediator, you're someone that loves peace, you bring peace, you carry peace with you. You have this gift for negotiating a fairness and strategy in personal and professional life. Some of you might work as a lawyer or a business person, an entrepreneur, someone that really good with dealing business or in investment, you're an investment banker for some of you, or someone that really care about people, finance, work in finance, that's possible, all right, that's also possible, or truly got this talent to, medi me to mediate something, all right, or work in social justice or social cause in general. All right, group number one, that's your reading for today. Please give me thumbs up and please like this video. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you and bye-bye. Hello, group number two. Welcome back to my channel. If you're picking this image or group number two, then this is your reading. Back again with me, Princess Tasha Jupiter, and today we're going to find out what are people secretly saying about you. All right, I'm gonna dig deeper to your vibration based on the image that you picked today. But before that, I want to see your cards first. All right, guys. We're just gonna be open-minded about the outcome of this reading. We're just gonna having fun and see what we got. All right, not yet. <laughs> Please tap me to the energy of group number two. All right, all right. Please tap me to the energy of group number two, please. What are people secretly saying about you? What are people secretly saying about you, group number two? All right, I got your card here. You got here going forward. Don't dwell on the past, but focus on creating a brighter future. Um, I feel that people secretly saying that you're trying to move on from someone or something, right? Some of you might just break up with relationship, cutting things off, resign from a job, moving out of town, um, you know, stop speaking with someone, either it's ex-friendship, ex-friends, ex-acquaintances, ex-coworker. There's something that you just want to move on and truly going forward about it. I feel also people secretly saying that, you know, um, you used to uh, be a little bit bitter about something um, due to the treatment that you got from these certain people, but you try to just move on. You try to forgive the past and just, you know, owning your future. Um, I feel also people secretly saying that you are a little bit, um, you know, a little bit focusing your energy on the past instead of the future and you tried your best to just move on to just change your mind change your perspective and just looking forward for your future creating your brighter future starting over again so i feel that some of the people here in this group you start to create your own version i mean you start to you know thinking about yourself even more being a little bit selfish about your choices and kind of just prioritizing yourself over other people or over the drama that they brought you in the first place you also have here manifest the new people secretly saying that they got something new from you maybe you got your new look you change your hair color you have new style um you change your hairstyle change your fashion style you know um you shopping about something that you know not so you or you thrifting uh, buy new stuff when you never buy you stuff embrace change and envision your desires allowing the universe to align with your intentions all right group number two 
I feel also people secretly saying that you are trying to manifest new things in your life, trying to manifest new connection, um, you know, either it's for romantic or platonic or your business connection. But I feel that's what people secretly saying about you. You have here also hidden keys, put things together piece by piece to reveal the bigger picture. People secretly saying that you are someone that really know how to put things together. You're very analytical. People secretly saying that you have a good brain, smart, intelligent. Maybe your job, your profession is about analyzing situation, analyzing cases, you know, put things together for other people. There's also hidden elements about you. People try to put things together for you or about you. People are so curious about you. They try to put things together. They are so curious about your level up. You look very beautiful or handsome. So they try to find out where did you go for your skin care? Where did you buy your skin care? Where did you buy your makeup? What's what makeup that you use? You know, there's something hidden about you. Maybe people also wonder um, your source, like your money, the way you make money, um, you know, your side hustle, your business. They're just so curious about it. You guys, that's for real. <laughs> and you got here important parts. <coughs> sorry important parts embrace each element weaving them into your story with openness and understanding all right so you guys let me drink first my water all right now with important parts here people secretly saying that you're someone with great understanding to a lot of people. Some people might disappoint you or cancel the meeting, cancel the appointment, cancel the lunch, cancel the brunch. You're not being included or you're being forgotten and you're being so understanding about them. But they see that something new about to happen. You change your attitude. You change the way you respond to them. You're not prioritizing them anymore. You're not prioritizing that fake friends, fake acquaintances, fake coworkers instead you focusing on yourself yes you can still say hi to them you can still you know grab coffee but doesn't mean that you invest that much of your feeling towards them right um you're not you know putting them on pedestal or not expecting a lot from them for the things that they did to you you know it's enough for you to kind of see that maybe you're not that important in their life you know what i mean Maybe they used to say that you are important. Maybe you used to be that important, but not anymore. You know what I mean? People change, people move on, and you're not afraid to also going forward with the connection. You're not afraid to filtering, to, um, you know, to truly analyzing the situation and connection and moving forward without the people that used to be with you in the past, be it about friendship, romantic business. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's for real. That's for real. Group number two. Please tap me to the energy of group number two. What are people secretly saying about you? Please take this reading as resonates. You know, this is just general reading. Uh, but if you want private reading just for you, group number two, please click the link in the description box below to book me for your private reading. It will be helpful um, if you would like to book me to book, you know, to book me for your private reading. Just click the link in the description box below. You have here, I miss your voice, your laugh, your humor, your touch. I'm in my feelings today. All right. Now, this could apply to bigger picture. Some of you, this is about romantic connection, be it about ex-partner, ex-crush, someone that just admire you from afar. Um, or this is your current partner, they always miss you. But this is also about other people outside the romantic connection. Generally, people love your voice. They love your laugh. They love your humor. You're very funny to be around. You know, you're you're such entertaining person. Um, and your touch, you know, one of your love language is like touch. Um, you are very warm-hearted. That's what people secretly saying about you. Some of you might be a Taurus, um, Leo, Capricorn, or Pisces, or Cancer. All right, you might have that 
in your birth chart. If not, you don't have to worry about it. But people miss you. People miss your voice. Maybe you live far away from your family or your best friends or your old friends or your childhood friends. That's possible. It was, it was, sorry, it was easier to lie than to tell you the truth. I wish I could take it all back. Someone treated you not that nice in the past, but it's because they hide something. Hidden keys. Yes, they're hiding something. All right, they're hiding something. And it seems like, you know, they kind of regretted the things that they did to you, bit about this ex-friend, ex-acquaintances, you know, in-law that did you bad, cousin, cousin-in-law. You know, they knew it. They knew that they did it you bad. Or even this is ex-romantic partner, ex-crush, ex-situationship. You guys might not be in relationship. You guys might never be in relationship. But the way they treated you was like not that nice and they wish they could take it all back they wish they could not done such things but damage happened and they're gonna learn their lesson all right wow <laughs> now let's see um the image that you picked today group number two as you're picking this image you know um People secretly saying that you're very sensual. The way you dress is just very attractive. You got that attractive, sensual, sexy vibes. I feel that people secretly saying about you that you're just like that music, um, the lady in red. Um, you have that confidence, spicy energy about you. People love looking at you. You seems like you really know well what you are wearing. You're very fashionable. You are very knowledgeable of your look you look really handsome look really beautiful you also someone that very down to earth i feel that some of you might have a very strong earth element in your birth chart capricorn virgo taurus i feel also there's this beauty inside of you that you truly are someone that really know how to appreciate beauty how to celebrate beauty you look like a hedonist you look very expensive look very sophisticated all right in a sexy way in a sensual way all right another thing also people secretly saying that you have a beautiful lips all right people talking secretly secretly talking about your lips um your chest area your eyes your hair that's very beautiful all right this is gonna be like my group if i have to pick a group all right <laughs> and group number one two or even group number three i don't know if you're being called to watch also other group you're welcome to do so after this video uh but yeah people secretly saying that you are very um you're such a party animal all right you're very happy go lucky that's what people secretly saying about you um you're probably an extrovert yourself if not then you're between um uh, extrovert and introvert that ambivert but more so like you got that you know you got that presence that truly calling people to adore you right like truly calling people to adore you people sometimes question themselves when they look at you maybe they're not enough you know what i mean or you are someone that just so beautiful or handsome you know people sometimes secretly saying that you're so extra with your look or you look very presentable you know wait am i extra or are you basic <laughs> you know what i mean maybe they're the one that basic and you're just like very fabulous fabulous is how to describe you gorgeous handsome fabulous all right you might not realize it but you're pretty popular now let's see other cards here Please type me to the energy of group number two. What are people secretly saying about you, group number two? You have zebra. It's very interesting, right? Um, zebra is independent lover. Zebra is very adventurous. Um, let's see here. With zebra here, you know, zebra are the most precious of gems, right? They are young at heart, well cultured, and have an undying curiosity about life. People secretly saying about you that there is something um, very interesting about you you're full of life um you're someone that got lots of energy yes everyone has their own up and down life but it seems like most of the time you truly are an optimist all right uh, you're someone that is very 
curious, um, adventurous, and also young at heart. Regardless of your age, you know, there's these youthful vibes around you, and that's what people secretly saying about you. Some of them, they might not know for real your age, and sometimes they're just being very curious about the real age that you got, or you know what I mean? Like, why you look so young, why you look so, um, you know, fresh, got a lot of fresh ideas, very creative. Um, you have lots of energy or just very creative or very active, all right? Such a go-getter and someone that is, um, you know, always bring magic around you, all right? Being in the company of a zebra, which is you, um, not only is a delight, but also opens our mind. You're someone that truly can see both sides. Um, you're really good in debate. That's what people are secretly saying about you. You're truly someone with a potent magic that truly contagious. People feel younger again whenever they around you. Maybe sometimes you are older than this person, but this person truly feel they're older than you due to your vibes, due to your personality. You got this zebra personality. That's what people secretly saying about you. Now, you may soon find yourself in a faraway land. Um, you're destined to travel far. You're destined to go abroad, to go around, to explore, expanding your world view while having a blast, having fun. And people sometimes secretly saying about you what you do for a living, how you get your money, how can you afford your lifestyle, how you can afford truly to travel around while still looking very youthful, look very vibrant. And also another thing that I pay attention with this card is people secretly saying that yes you are busy yes you have your own nine to five jobs or a business to maintain um but it seems like you always find a way to pamper yourself with some travel time either alone or with your spouse or with your family with your loved ones or with your children all right now with this card you know zebra also like to contribute to the global health through environmental or volunteer work people secretly saying about you that you're just like this agent of change such an inspirational person someone that really care about environment about health issue about human rights issue in general and you know, this is also an indication that you're just a wanderlust, someone that truly know how to explore the world, how to be a great traveler. That's you, group number two. All right. People secretly saying about you that you're such an epic adventure person, someone that is artistic, visionary, eccentric. You got your own style and it's very attractive. You're very attractive, right? very captivating. You got that seductive, uh, attractive look and very brave, that kind of look that truly hypnotize people and make them think a little bit naughty about you. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Please tap me to the energy of group number two. What are people secretly saying about you, group number two? What are people secretly saying about you, group number two? You have awakening. Not surprised. You have the lovers. With awakening here in group number two, I feel that people truly experience some sort of deja vu, yet at the same time, their perspe perception about you just totally change after they talk to you. Maybe before they uh, talk to you, before they get to know you better, or just first time meeting you, they got some serious perception about you. You're someone that is serious. You're someone that good looking. You're someone that high maintenance. But after talking to you, they got that awakening moment. You're very self selfless all right um you're someone that really want to help people um you're very spiritual as well and someone that really care about uh, society in general you know there is this changing perspective about you now um there's always this saying don't judge the book by its cover sometimes people just misjudge you you know but they got it wrong or you're not actually like that because you're actually very friendly um you're very easygoing and a very loyal person because you got also the lover's card people secretly saying that you make people fall in love with you so 
easily just by you smiling at them. So your smile is very mesmerizing. This is also an indication that people secretly talking about your relationship. It seems like you're just like the dream partner that they wish they could have. Another thing with this card is people secretly saying that um, you're someone that is very emotional and someone that truly makes other people want to commit to you. Either it's for relationships or romantic connection or friendship or even collaboration for business partnership. Right? People love being committed to you or creating some sort of agreement, collaboration, working together because you've got, you got that lover's card, all right? You have here release. Yes, this is like awakening moment. The color of the phoenix is red. There's this transformation. People secretly talking or saying about your transformation. This is talking about your glow up. You got this awakening moment, but also the release card. This is you inspired people to get their own freedom. You are someone with a freedom thinker. You are a visionary person, but yes, you're thinking more about yourself. That's not selfish. That's self-love. And people learn how to release all of the expectation by the time they get to know you better because you never expect people to do more than what they're willing to do for you. You release them to be who they are. You release them to just show you their true colors and you transform your own relationship. You know, a lot has changed um, in this past years for you, group number, to even to the close friends, you're not anymore putting them in the box or forcing them to maintain relationship with you. You just keep things natural, you know, you just let things be and they come back for you for more. They love watching your content, um, group number two, especially if you're making, um, you know, social media content. Queen of Earth, people secretly saying that you look very gracious, you look very fabulous, you look very sophisticated, but also people secretly saying the way you work, maybe this is the people that work together with you, they're secretly saying that you're capable of doing a lot of work, a multitasking person, someone that is very generous with your money and love to share your money with your family. You have here two of air with this card, people secretly saying that you're probably avoiding someone or avoiding something. Thing. you're trying to just not get involved in drama or conflict there is something or someone tried to um, distract you from your purpose and you try to just not get involved that much with their energy because you don't want to be dragged down to their negativity all right that's what i see here one more card for you you got six of water the six of water letting me know that people secretly saying that they um remembering the old times that they shared with you the people that went to school with you the people that used to have close friendship, close relationship, an ex-partner, a childhood friend, and you know, a high school friend, a college friend, you know, people that used to work with you. They're like having this nostalgia and now they realized that they miss your voice, they miss your love, they miss your humor, you're very funny, um, they miss your touch, you are in the, you know, they're in their feelings today, they miss you, you know, um, now it is possible that they lied to you, that they didn't miss you, but they actually was thinking that they lie and they wish they could have all the experiences with you back. Group number two. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Please tap me to the energy of group number two. What are people secretly saying about you, group number two? You have here mystic. People secretly saying that you are um, such a magical person. You're someone that truly are in move with the divine. It seems like you're the chosen one. People truly feel that your life is full of blessing or you're truly just meant to be a big for a bigger thing, for big things and truly someone that just mystical, all right? You also have here mentor. People secretly saying that you got a lot of experiences and it's good to learn from you. A lot of people really want to learn from you about your glow up, about your transformation, about the way you release your tension, about the way you gain your abundance with the Queen of Earth there, and also how you can have a beautiful connection with your spouse. People love to learn from you, you know what I mean? That's the card of mentor. That's how you inspired a lot of people. You have here also healer. People secretly saying that by being around you, by watching your content, because your content is very light. If your content is very heavy, you talk as HIT about a lot of people, then this reading is not for you. Maybe you have to pick another group, but this is the group that truly bring healing, bring smiling to a lot of people's face. You know what I mean? Bring sense of fun and enjoyment. And that's what you are as a person, group number two. People secretly saying that you're such a healer and they love to be 
part of your group. They love to be part of your energy because you know how to heal people naturally. You have here queen. Ooh la la. I mean, look at this. This is also the, the, the rat. Um, it, it seems like it has some sort of uh, similarities with the picture or image that you picked today. So this is your vibration. You're my fellow queen and king, the royal vibes. People secretly saying that you truly radiate this regal feminine, that you look very expensive, look very sophisticated. People secretly saying that you're very elegant. The way you handle situations, the way you carry yourself is just very poised. You're very benevolent. I mean, it's truly someone that can show authority. I mean, you look very important. Look the VVIP. You'll dress like VVIP and you have great manner. People love uh, putting you on pedestal group number two. All right, group number two, that's your reading for today. All right, please give me a thumbs up. Please like this video. If you want to book me for your private reading, please click the link in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye. Hello group number three, welcome back to the channel with me, your one and only Princess Tacha Jupiter. For this video, we're going to find out what are people secretly saying about you. You're picking this image, I'm gonna do pick a card reading and also long distance viewing based on the image that you picked today. But before we see your vibration of this group, you know, let's see your cards first, all right? Group number three, let's find out here. Um, you know, please be mindful that this reading is just general reading, so please take what resonate. But if you want private reading just for you, please click the link in the description box below to book me for your private reading. Group number three, what are people secretly saying about you? Please tap me to the energy of group number three. What are people secretly saying about you? You have here rising flames. Let your passion guide you to the fulfilling purpose meant for you ignite your soul embrace the mysteries of life stay open-minded and embrace the wisdom that unfolds from every experience Right off the bat, people are secretly saying that you are in the middle of um, something new and very interesting in your life. Um, I feel also this is about destiny talking. Um, and there's this secretly saying that you're about to step into your purpose or already in your purpose and about to even, um, you know, rising flames you got that rising flames you got that momentum you got that passion that truly gonna guide you so this is talking about the things that you love doing all right talking about your hobbies your passion your interest your job that you love or side hustle that you love that coming from your desire everything that your desire if you follow it you know it will bring a um, mysterious thing yet a very fulfilling into your life so people secretly saying that you about to embark or you're trying to embrace the mysteries of life you're trying to go with the flow yet at the same time you're being very passionate about everything that comes into your way um you know of, of every lesson of every experiences and truly um just gain the wisdom becoming more wa becoming more experiences experience and also wiser than before all right um I feel also there's this interest um, even higher about being in relationship. Probably you're looking for a permanent partner. You're looking for um, collaboration for your business, for your side hustle. Um, you are looking for a new place to work. Um, and I feel also with Rising Flames here, it is important for you to make decision based on what you think and feel about certain things and truly following your passion, all right? For everything thing in your life some of you truly have this fire element in your birth chart Aries, leo sagittarius all right in your birth chart that's very possible group number uh, three you also have here real promise um release the chains of the past and dance to the rhythm of possibility People secretly saying that you gain the impossible, you achieve the impossible, you're someone that is very inspiring in the way you achieve your goals, you're very promising in the future, you have great talent, you're full of promises here, and people truly see that you're someone with multifaceted, you're someone with multi-talented, that's for sure. But another thing is I feel that, you know, you're someone, people secretly saying that you're letting go, you're letting go the chains of 
past, you know, old connection, old toxic workplace. And in order for you to welcome or embrace this passion, embrace these flames and embrace these possibilities, embrace the mysteries of life, you're letting go all the old chants. And also this is about you really just want to go with the flow, dancing with the rhythm of possibilities. That's what people secretly saying about you. Um, another thing also, this is free to move. People secretly saying that you're truly someone that truly got this liberty maybe you are having your nine to five or about to have your nine to five yet at the same time you know how to have your own side hustle you know how to spare time to just do your fun things you're not afraid about material things you're someone that happy go lucky all right free to move embrace your liberty to explore new paths now for some of you you are truly gonna go or embark into new paths new connection new workplace new relationship new business connection new networking new travel all right that's about to happen into your life and you know let yourself like the world is wide open for your journey people truly secretly saying that you just got this wide connection you are a networker you're someone that truly just just got this wide experiences you know what i mean you got that diverse experiences group number three sorry all right let's see it here please tap me to the energy of group number three what are people secretly saying about you group number three I couldn't give to you like I wanted to because I'm still healing from my past and you release the chains of the past here. Just up here a bit. Right. Look at this. Release the chains of the past and I couldn't give to you like I wanted to because I'm still healing from my past. People secretly saying that you are just enough. You feel enough with the connection that didn't want to give to you, didn't want to invest in you, didn't want to meet you halfway. It just feel like it used to be one-sided connection. So you just let that person go, let that connection go, let that friendship go, let that work relationship or office space or office or job go. Um, and some of them, they just couldn't give you something. I'm not sure what it is exactly because it's going to be different for each one of us. If you want private reading for that, since this is general reading, please click the link in the description box below group number three to book me for your private reading. You will love it. And that's really helpful to my channel uh, by you supporting me through the private reading. Anyway, um, I feel that this specific person um, couldn't or specific place or organization just couldn't give you something, maybe couldn't give you um, maybe couldn't give you promotion, couldn't give you a pay raise, couldn't give you the love that you so deserve, couldn't give you that, you know, reciprocity of friendship, of connection, of appreciation, of respect, because they got issue to handle. They got problems on their own, you know what I mean? They got a lot of shadow work to do. Um, they need to heal themselves and they realize they did you wrong, all right? For whoever it is, this is just specific message for you, but the people that did you harm and you try to just move on from them either it's connection friendship relationship job you know fake in law you name it all right fake cousin you know they just couldn't give you that genuine energy because they got a lot of baggage to deal a lot of things to heal from their own past from their own shadow because shadow sometimes coming from past life or past things that they did to themselves or the people around them. They, they deal with a lot of karma here and they just couldn't be nice to you for that reason. Wow. Poor them. Telepathic communication. People secretly saying that you're very intuitive. It seems like you're an empath. So welcome, my fellow empath. All right, group number three. People secretly saying that you seems like you understand people without them have to tell to you about themselves a lot. You understand body language. You can feel energy. You can sense something that people not say. If people just not feel comfortable around you, you can sense it. Um, You can style BS from miles away, you know, group number three, that's also part of who you are. Now, let's see here. With this image, since you pick this image, the vibration of this image, all right, group number three, people secretly saying that you are someone 
that really not afraid to be alone you love your own solitude um it feels also that you got that seductive energy like a siren you are very down to earth very easygoing person and people secretly saying that for some reason you're making a fast progress you know what i mean and also you are someone that truly embraces courage and determination and forging your path with confidence and readiness to overcome obstacles so you're not afraid to face obstacles you're nonchalant you're very easygoing all right you're very relaxed to be around you're very fun to be around people love this kind of energy group number um three now let's see here Please type me to the energy of group number three. What are people secretly saying about you? You have eagle. Wow. I feel that also the image she wear this um, yellow flowers and the eagle also got the color of yellow here. Probably your sun or your moon since this is also look like the moon here over here your sun or your moon is in the fire element that's also possible group number three um you know and another thing that i feel also with the vibration of your image people secretly saying that they love your accessories all right you really know how to put accessories earrings necklaces um rings you know you are the queen or king of accessories people also love your hair they love your fashion style you're very um relaxed um yet very sexy and seductive you know you've got the vibes about you um with the eagle you know people secretly saying that sometimes you pretend like you don't know something but you actually know a lot of things you know people's secrets for some reason people tell you their secrets they tell you their stories you know a lot of things but you don't talk about it all right you don't show to a lot of people that you are intelligent that you are smart that you are smarter than what people try to judge you or put you in a label group number three eagle is a very fast eagle is very strong eagle is very intelligent and that's you group number three you know eagle is about power people sense your power yet it's very subtle it's very calm collected it's very poised yet people can still sense your power you're very powerful the noble eagle emanates the light of the sun this great bird is both physically and spiritually strong so that's what people secretly saying about you it's so hard to change your mind not because you are stubborn but because you already know what you want to have what you want to get how to get there how to survive how to persevere all right group number three and represent mastery over the elements of fire and air with the appearance of the eagle here i feel that you also probably have an air element in your birth chart especially your sun moon rising so i feel here this is the combination of the fire and the air element all right if you don't have that you don't have to worry about it group number three but i feel that when the eagle appears here it appears in front of you this is you this is what people secretly saying about you you will soon be thrown into the karmic fire for the sake of your transformation i'm talking about how you truly need to uh, promise yourself that you're never gonna give up how you truly need to ignite your soul how to you you know be willing to be burned in order to born again all right in, in order for you to have that transformation have that glow up you have to do the hard work you have to do the share to work you have to do something that just one thousand percent different than most people and you felt that for all of your life it seems like you have to show a lot of um effort that you have to give a lot of hard work and that's just what people secretly saying about you it seems like you always give give it all in everything that you do you are a perfectionist that's what people are secretly saying also about you the eagle pushes you to be your best and brighter selves and stops at nothing to see you shine people secretly saying that they truly can see your glow up that you're shining you're better than before you're more powerful you're stronger than before especially with how you master the surviving skill of overcoming a lot of obstacles that coming into your way grabs the sun in your talents and hold on for the right you are stronger than you think my eagle child
You know, you are a thrill seeker. You transform yourself. In this lifetime, you are destined to transform yourself to be a better person, to be a greater than you before. All right. If you're ready for that, claim it. Claim it, group number three. All right. Wow, this is very powerful, uh, powerful reading here. All right, here. Please tap me to the energy of group number three. What are people secretly saying about you? You have balance. Five of earth. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Page of water, okay. Ten of Earth. Mm -hmm. I get goosebumps here because I get I get a story to tell about you, group number three. Three of fire mm -hmm. and the six of fire. Wow! Yes, the fire is talking here. All right, here. Wow! Yes, look at this. Right, they're talking here, the rising flames. But before we go here, I got a story to tell here about you what people secretly saying about you, and it's very connected. All of your life, you always try to be someone that have this self-control. You try to dim your light. You try not to take the center stage. You try to compromise a lot for the sake of peacefulness, for the sake of friendship. You always be the one that try behind the, someone's light. You know, maybe that person is just coming too strong. Maybe that friendship that you try to save is just, they're just very egocentric. They're just got a lot of fire like you. All right. Maybe their sun sign is fire. Your sun sign might not be fire your sun sign might be earth sign but your moon sign probably fire their moon sign probably a water sign that's possible that's another sign for you if you start to realize but however it is you try to balance your connection balance your mind balance balance your life you know um, and trying to control yourself these kind of skills truly bring you far in life because the moment you face adversity the moment you face challenges the moment you face this five of earth which translate into this. This is truly material things about you, all right? I couldn't give to you. I couldn't give material things to you like I wanted to because I'm still healing from my past. This person was the one behind the closed doors, tried to close opportunity for you, tried to close the gate, tried to close the door, but God opened it for you. God opened it for you even though you were in the five of earth a moment. You know, you were living in your lack or limited belief mindset or just, didn't have enough in the past but god opened it for you because you got the 10 of earth this is a very powerful move of the eagle you are destined to transform your life here people secretly saying that now you are brave than before you're very intuitive you're very sensitive this is an empath all right telepathic communication this is a confirmation and people secretly saying that by having that balance and also following your passion yet when you making a decision you follow your passion and follow your intuition all right you bring that into to prayer you ask guidance from your guide god angels you know the divine and yes you are um truly expanding your horizon that's what people secretly saying about you they see how your life totally changing this is about you got a promotion got to travel the world you know you got to um you got to travel the world you got to accept a job that truly give you this abundance all right side hustle jobs abundant i feel very connected with this group number three um, and people just, you know, paying attention to how you achieving your goals, how you got your visions coming true, how you got your expansion. They are talking about this, even though this is what people secretly saying about you. Yes, they're saying, they're secretly saying and talking about your expansion. They're paying attention to it. And then of earth, oh my, you're destined to have a lot. You're destined to have this prosperity, abundance, security that will let you share with your family, with your loved ones, with your spouse, with yourself 
yourself, elevate your life, and truly you are the winner here. Six of fire. This is very powerful. Again, this is when you ignite your soul, when you're following your passion, when you let that fire energy um, coming alive, regardless whether you have fire sign or not in your birth chart, you're being influenced by this fire. You're destined to be the six of fire in this lifetime. You're destined for success, recognition, and self-esteem. You're more confident than before. That's what people secretly saying about you, but that's because they realized that you are truly following your passion. You're being honest with yourself. You're not lying anymore about yourself. You're not dimming your light anymore. You let yourself be the center stage. All right. Wow. Very powerful here. Very powerful. When you take control your destiny, when you take control your path, when you take control all of that with your hands and truly show the hard work, truly give that all, a you know, a lot of things about you, it will change wonders all right please tap me to the energy of group number three what are people secretly saying about you group number three what are people secretly saying about you you have child magical. People are secretly saying that you're such a fun person to be around. They truly see your potential. Um, you're someone that truly can see beauty everywhere. Or right, someone that truly just very beautiful and artistic. And you truly believe that everything is possible. That's like your belief. People are a little bit envy of your life. It seems like you have your dreams come true. If you haven't feel this way, take this as a sign for you to start believing in yourself again. All right. You also have here gossip yes people talk about you secretly saying right they secretly saying about your life people gossiping even uh friends of a friends all right they like talking about your style the one maybe you love branded bags branded purse they just love talking about you they gossiping about it some of them become secret hater just ignore them all right they're probably just jealous of you all right you know you're you're just like the source of gossip and it's because you have fabulous life or at least that's from the outside or that's what people thinking about you so they secretly talking secretly saying about how you gain a lot of things how you expand yourself how you have that level up they're probably jealous of you group number three i mean femme fatale i mean who doesn't jealous <laughs> all right you're very sexy you're very gorgeous you got the erotic energy people secretly saying that you're just looking more beautiful than ever more handsome and yes you're just very giving this temptation mm -hmm. you have here servant people secretly saying that you are a very helpful person you're someone that very genuine and love helping people without expecting anything in return so when people misjudge you you know they lost it they lost you all right. And it's not your loss. It's their loss. All right. Group number three. That's your reading for today. Please give me a thumbs up. Please like this video. If you love this content, please subscribe to the channel and be part of my family. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.